Okay, today we are going to talk about the yoke carry. Now, this is a beast of a movement. There is a lot more to think about um, than just picking up a weight. There's technique to it because when we're doing this, we want to do it very fast. Um, it's not about just moving heavy weight, it's about doing it quickly. So, we need to have an efficient technique. Now, when we do the yoke, let's first just talk about where you set up these pins. Hopefully, your training partner is not super short and you're super tall and everything, everything like that, so you have to always change it. But a good rule of thumb is to start mid chest height, um, and then once you pick it up, you can kind of feel and adjust from there. Now, we don't want it super low because then you have to do a full squat with heavier weight than you probably squat. Like for middleweight women, we are usually moving 500 plus pounds, and I can't full body or full squat 500 pounds. So we want to make sure that the pick is, um, you know, you're not so wide that you're, you're doing a full full squat. Also, these aren't so low. So you want to find a good happy medium because if they're too high, you're going to hit the ground with the yoke as you start moving because it's going to start to drag, especially as the weight gets heavier and you get shorter and the weight starts to drag down. So kind of experimenting. This might be just maybe one too low for me. I might, I might be able to um, put it a little bit higher, but just for the sake of this demo, this is where we're at. Now, where do you put, the, put this? Okay, we don't want to think about powerlifting. This is not a low bar spot, squat. I actually have like a little scabby right here because I put it so high. It is a high bar position because you want it to make sure that it is over the center of your body. And then also if it's too low, it's going to start sliding down your back. And then also a lot of pressure on your shoulders. It's hard to uh, pin 500 pounds or a thousand pounds on your back. You want to make sure you make, are able to make a nice shelf with your traps by pulling your shoulders back. Now, where do you put your hands next? I do not want to see anyone putting their hands on the crossbar here. It's going to be really, really swinging. Okay. We want to make, the, make this as stable as possible so we can move it as quickly as possible and have, have our whole body work together so we want to use as much core strength. We're not trying to be super crazy functional people with weights swinging around everywhere. We want to make sure this is stable. So we don't want it up here because that's the weight's going to swing back and forth as you start to step. All right. We want to make sure that, and it's going to depend too on your arm length. If you're a tiny, tiny female, your hands might have to be way high up here. You might have to be way up like here. I know I do that too. Um, and if you're, have really long arms, you are able to pick it a little bit lower or right under um, here. But either way, we want to make sure that we're able to push the weight through and you're creating a shelf like this. Some people actually also pull it in and that works for them as well. Um, but we want to make sure we have a very, very active rack position. So we want your hands, put your hands where you think they're going to be. You're going to come under your high on your traps here, okay? Not low. And from here, I'm pushing forward. I'm creating a shelf, I'm squeezing those shoulders back. My hips are right, um, the weight is over my hips like this. And my stance is about my deadlift stance and where how I'm be walking. If I pick it like this, my first step is gonna have to be like this in, and this is gonna start wiggling around and you don't have a fast start. And with this movement, this, you know, someone could finish 0.02 seconds in front of you and it could have just been that small adjustment. So make sure that you are hip, hip width stance or hip width, you know, deadlift stance. Um, you could even, even do staggered stance if it's light enough so that your first step, you know, you're already going, you're already rolling. But I like to be stable. For me, this is super taxing. So I want my full body to be in line and so I can pick stabilize and go. So shorter steps are better than longer steps. Every time you do a long step, you might do a little hip shift. You, you know, you'd be walking down the street like this, you know, with their weight going like this. We want short shuffle steps so that there's no extra movement. And then with those steps, go fast with it. So I'll show you here what the steps will look like. Coming under, pick, and then I'm a step. So I kept the bar high on me. I kept the weight, or my, I pushed my hips forward and I pushed through. So you would probably see that was pretty, pretty. I had to pick up the weight a lot. I would personally probably 
have this a little bit up higher. I think I underestimated or where my nipples were or something because I want them a little bit higher um, here so I wouldn't have to pick as much. But I'll show you guys again. You want everything to be going forward and not, actually I'll show you kind of what I don't want to see. We're out wide and I'm not using my core and I'm shifting from side to side. So hips forward, hips nice and stable. Keep the yoke on your traps. Now, I know I'm gonna program for this for you and I'm gonna say, use a weight that you can get 50 feet in less than 10 seconds. That means you have to move fast. That means it's easier weight. And the reason I do that kind of stuff is because uh, this is super fatiguing to the nervous system. You can't, you know, I know you want to do, I, I remember when I was doing a strongman for my first contest, I really want to do 500 pounds. So I kept on like trying to do 500 pounds. You know, I do 450, 475, 500, 500 again, 500 again. And it's super fatiguing. It will affect your lift, it lifts in your recovery. So this is something that you do heavy, minimally. Um, we want to make sure we're really efficient. We can move fast. Um, and you can practice and break it down with those speed things and even heavier picks. So enjoy your yoke training.